Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss decision making statements using our language. To alternate the sequence of statements of a program we use decision making statements. Decision can be made on the basis of true or false of output of the logical conditions. Our language supports if, if else and switch statements. So first of all, just see how you can use the if statement or how you can execute if statements. Clear? Now assume the value of x is 5, the value of y is say 10 and the value of a is 0. Clear? Now if you write if a is equal to is equal to 0, then print x end of okay now see the value of x is 5 the value of y is 10 and the value of a is 0 now if a is equal to 0 a equal to equal to 0 that means this condition is true since this particular condition is true then hence enter into this particular um, section and it will print the value of x which is 5 clear now what happened if we write if the a is less than 0 then print x and end of. Now it will not print anything because the value of a is not less than 0, it is equal to 0. So don't enter into this particular part and it will not execute printf, print x, the value of x. So that's why it is done. Similarly, we can use if else statement. Now for the if else statement, we can write like this way. else print y and end of this clear yeah. now here the value of a is 0 so if a equal to 0 now this condition is true so since this condition is true hence it will print the value of x clear yeah. now what happened if you write like this way if a equal is greater than 0 clear then print x then print x else print y So it will print 10 since the value of a is 0 okay now if a is greater than 0 now this condition is false because a is equal to 0 so it will execute the else part in else part the value so the statement is print of, print of y so the value of y is 10 so that's why the output is 10 clear next see uh, a nested if else so how you can use this one Assume the value of x is 5. Okay. Now if you write if x is less than 5, then print print the value of x is less than 5. Okay. Now, else if x is greater than 5, so the we have to write print the value of x is more than 5. End of this process. Else print the value of X is 
Now you can see the value of x is 5. Now the condition is if x is less than 5, then the this particular condition is false. So it will not print this particular part. And else part if x is equal to greater than 5. Now this condition is also false because the value of x is equal to 5. So it will not execute this this one, this one, it will execute only this particular else part. Now what if the value of x is equal to say 10? The value of x is 10. Now you just execute this particular part. Okay, so if now the value of x is 10, now execute this one. So the so the the x is less than 5. Now this condition is false. If x is greater than 5, yes, the condition is true. So it will print the value of x is more than 5. So you can see. So the value of x is more than 5 because the actual value of x is 10. Okay. Now see the use of switch statement. Okay. So we can switch, we can use switch statement in our language like this way. Suppose we have written switch one comma red green blue okay so the output will be red because we have written now if you put here instead of one it should be green if you put three it will be four so what happen if you put four so nothing is there clear similarly we can use switch statement like this way also. Suppose MCT function already we don't know actually what is function now. Just see this particular example. We'll see later what is the use of uh, what, is, what is function. Okay. Switch. You just write type comma mean is equal to mean of x median is equal to median of x standard deviation is equal to st of x okay now end of this particular function and proceed now suppose our data value contains say value 1, 2, 4, 6, 8. Clear? Now to execute mean, median and standard deviation, you can write MCT X comma you just type only mean. Okay, so it will return the mean only. We can type the median. Similarly, we can type the standard deviation. Here. So, this is another way of using switch statement in our language. Okay. So, that is the end of this particular video. And thank you very much.